All right, that's another save in the books. I think we might as well uh, create a video here. What? She is yielding. All right, so it looks like the theory there uh, seemed to be correct. What does yielding do? <sighs> it's a bonus to history. Shit. Yielding. Bonus. Royal demeanor. Spell that correctly, Griffith. History. Faith. Penalty. Weapons. Aluminum. Pretty stiff penalty in aluminum. But we kind of did throw the person who could teach me that in jail, I'm guessing. <sighs> Foreign affairs, it's gloating at me now. No, I'm not going to reload again. Those extra points there. Oh, look, I had to pick something. Fucking expression or animal handling is gonna come back to bite me in the ass, isn't it? <laughs> uh, but it looks like we finally got a bonus to royal demeanor. What the fuck do I pick first? Because I'm gonna pick in that. I'm gonna pick in that category. Um. Interesting. You know, I'm, I'm not gonna get into that. Royal demeanor. The ability to bear pain, fear, and surprise without flinching. The ability to be beautiful and dead now. An aura of confidence. Yeah! That was easy. Yeah! Let's do it! Give record! Am I sure? Yep, I'm sure. Super sure? Well, I can always load. You practice wearing the royal regalia and looking at yourself in a mirror. Young as you are, you are a queen of the blood. You are your mother's daughter. You are a force to be reckoned with. You stare at yourself in the mirror and practice focusing and transmitting energy with only your eyes, turning the intensity of your gaze on and off at will. Oh my! You practice using different styles of breathing in order to feel more energetic and to let that energy surround you for others to share. He lo He loves me! He loves me now! Adi, do you have a boyfriend? Not really, I just like to play with flowers. Me too. You gather your skirts and prepare to sit down, when all of a sudden, a hissing noise alerts you to a hidden danger. The snake! Charlotte, don't move! With your quick reflexes, you grab a forked stick and manage to flip the snake away from you and your cousin. Get away, you horrible thing! You stomp loudly on the ground, and the snake slithers off into the distance. Now, from what Lethal told me, and I didn't actually know whether this would be the solution to it, but it's been, this is one of like, the few storyline things I think he mentioned to me, and, and it's either that or I heard it from somewhere else, where I think like if you don't do that, someone gets bitten, and then you need to have like a fuck ton of like medical knowledge, or need to rely on, I don't know, but like some bad things happen, I guess. Maybe you die from the snake bite, I don't know. Be a quick death. But at any rate, I did keep that locked in my mind, and I thought, but well, what could possibly deal with a snake? Reflexes! Yes! What's going on out here? Mommy, there was a snake! <laughs> Stupid shit. What was a snake doing in the royal gardens? This is completely unacceptable. You could have been killed! Elodie scared it off. It's not good enough. I can't have my daughter remaining in such a dangerous place. We're returning home to... Oh, maybe, maybe that would come back to bite you in the ass. Maybe Merva would be like, rrr, rrr, rrr. Aww. All right, well, and play sports. Okay, apparently my character is even angrier. What are the moods looking like? Well, now the afraid uh, modifier is really gone. Um. I like being yielding. That gives me a bonus as to uh, those royal demeanor skills. And I really think that's gonna be useful. I hope it's gonna be useful. And that fucking expression. Ten court, talk to your father, explore castle, ten services. 
Is it dungeons? Can I like save here? I can save wherever I want. Ah. Uh. Alright. Let's try this. You venture into the depths of the castle dungeons. The Duchess of Ursul is there, in her cell, sitting perfectly straight on the bench against the wall, and looking your direction as if she'd been expecting you. Caution is... Caution is wise for one in your position. Hasty judgments can lead to trouble. Are you ready to listen now? Huh. I guess she's the only person I in prison. I don't recall seeing the option. Um... Duh... Then why the fuck did I throw you in prison in the first place if I... If I can release you? Ah, I'm not gonna reload after that like I did for the first thing. And I, I, I guess if you can teach me magic, that's pretty cool. What do you got? What do you want to say? It is the responsibility of the King or Queen of Nova to handle magical energies to protect the domain. That is what a Lumen does, what your mother did, and what I do. My father said it was your fault she died, that's why I threw you in prison! Because I was gonna trust Dad, even though Dad might have killed Mom. Look, I'm trying to roleplay here. What he said was that she died by magic. Being a Lumen is never safe. We pay a high price for our powers. Without a Lumen Queen, this entire domain is at risk. <laughs> Alright, I failed the lore test. Release me and I will teach you what you need to know to keep your responsibilities. You know, you might kill me. It'd be pretty interesting, especially since I failed that lore test. What does my character know, right? And the more I think about it, how could I deny the power of magic? This is how people win in uh, fantasy settings, right? They just accrue magical power and they vaporize the common folk and their enemies and they bend the world to their will. Shit. It's gonna waste a weekend. Ah. I already wasted the weekend by coming here. What about that lore? The, the fucking... I like the promise of magic power. You'll be more useful than Dad is. I'm pressured now. I don't have any choice, do I? Fine, I'll have the guards release you. Come to me in my rooms as soon as you can to begin your training. Alright. And I'm still pretty yielding. I got a bit pressured there, too, so I don't have to worry about being lonely. Who knows what that kind of benefit that make? Well... Uh... I don't know. I should probably make a save, though, right? I guess this is week three, huh? And this video's... I can't end the video here. <laughs> what the fuck, Grimmett? Alright. Uh, week three, I guess. I'm gonna have a weird fuck saving convention for this. Ah, looks hideous. Alright. Um. This sounds pretty cool. Look a pair of... Bear of pain, fear, and surprise without flinching. Really be... Let's pick them both. Let's see what happens. No. Uh. Well, I do want to do them both anyway. But in the case that my mood changes too much, because I don't know what event's going to come up next, I like the sound of composure over elegance. So we'll pick composure first, and then we'll pick elegance, and we'll see what happens. I am still yielding, right? Okay. Sounds good. Let's go. Cool. 
You practice deep breathing exercises, learning to find and maintain a sense of inner calm, and yeah, that is an extra bonus that stacks on top of that. Cool. You practice positive thinking, maintaining a good self-engine... <laughs> engine? Self-image. And conditioning yourself to carry on, rather than be frustrated by any past misstep. You practice sitting calmly while your teacher circles around you and makes unexpected <laughs> loud noises at random intervals. I toned down the music uh, microphone. Right. Whatever. I didn't say that as loud as I could have. The castle seems quieter with Charlotte and Emery and Zahara and their parents. Zahara. So. I wonder how that changes. I don't have the reflexes if she gets bitten. And I wonder what, how, what kind of spare these are in the works if I sent away the Lumen uh, relative or just kept him from the beginning. I certainly I wouldn't have uh, spent a week in the weekend in the damn dungeon. That gave me a pressured modifier, which adjusted my mood. And by sending her to the dungeon, I gained a point of angry, which allowed me to feel uh, yielding, right? Which is what allowed me to do the royal training shit that I'm doing now. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's certainly not empty, though. It seems like we get more servants every day. The end. Okay, I can visit the dungeon to... Oh, I missed out on the opportunity to meet with Charlotte. Isn't that right, Train? Well, damn it. Well... Keep that for another playthrough. I assume that this playthrough won't take me seven hours. Or, I don't know. <laughs> if I keep uh, oscillating between decisions, I would like to learn pretty cool awesome magic power. Isn't that right, Train? Train would like to learn pretty cool awesome magic power too. Yes, you've already passed the fucking intersection. I, I, I can't see out there, but I know. What is it you wanted to teach me? First, I need to know if you have your mother's crystal. What crystal? The source of power for any lumen is a particular magic cri magical crystal. Once you've bonded with it, it becomes a part of you as long as you live. The royal crystal has been passed down from ruler to ruler for generations. It belongs to you now, except that the king may be keeping it from you. You know, to protect you from magic causing your death. Do you have a crystal? Of course. She holds out her hands. Light flicker flickers above her bosom. And then with a shower of sparkles, something takes shape. You reach out to touch it, and it dissolves away into nothing. Oh. It belongs to me. No one can take it from me until I die. You need to find the crystal that belongs to you. Alright, I'm gonna go see Dad, then. Yes. Gotta go see Father. Oh, that insufferable cunt. Uh, yep, let's go ahead and train Eric to elegance. It's actually going to be a bit ahead of composure um, due to the extra bonus. I, I presume that's okay. <laughs> I mean, really, their presence sounded the coolest, so it's the one that should have the high amount. Oh my goodness, there's so much like number porn you can get into. Ah, what if you're anal retentive about having numbers in the right locations? Ah, what could it mean? 